Hey everyone, welcome to the next video from section 7.8. So in this video, we're just going to go through an example of solving a problem that's going to have a repeated eigenvalue and you'll need a generalized eigenvector. So work through the whole thing, top to bottom, all the steps in order, so you can see how the whole one of these problems sort of comes together to give you a final answer. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the example. So the example I want to look at is finding the general solution and drawing a face portrait for the following ODE system. All right, so my matrix here is 5, minus 1, 1, 3, and I want to find the general solution draw a face portrait for the system. So step one is look for eigenvalues. So I do that. I look at the determinant of 5 minus r minus 1, 1, 3 minus r. And this is 5 minus r, 3 minus r plus 1. So this is going to be 15 minus 8r plus r squared plus 1. So I get r squared minus 8r plus 16, which is r minus 4 quantity squared. So we have a double root at r equals 4. So there's our eigenvalue. We only have one eigenvalue this time. And we need to look for now the eigenvectors that correspond to that. Ideally, we would have two eigenvectors corresponding to that, so we'd be done. However, obviously, I picked this as the example, so it's not going to have that happen. But let's see what we do get. So two eigenvectors. So r equals 4, if I plug in r to this matrix up here, what I want to solve is 5 minus 4, minus 1, 1, 3 minus 4, x1, x2 equals 0. So if I solve that out, I get 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, x1, x2 equals 0. So they're obviously the same equation. I get x1 minus x2 equals 0. So I might as well pick x1 to be 1, x2 to be 1. And so 1, 1 is an eigenvector for my matrix with eigenvalue 4. So I get as part 1 of my solution, I get a 1, 1 times e to the 4t. And that we know is going to be there. But we only found one eigenvector. So now we have to look for our second solution in terms of a generalized eigenvector, or this other this process we talked about in the first video, in the second video for this section. So step three here, look for second solution with quote generalized eigenvector. So what I want to do is I want to guess x2 of t to be c e to the 4t plus c times t e to the 4t plus eta times e to the 4t and see what happens. So I plug this into both sides of my equation. Now, you, I mean, technically you don't have to do all this because you know what the answer is going to look like, but I'm going to do it all again to show you where all the equations come from. So we plug this into our equation. So x2 prime is going to be c times e to the 4t plus 4t e to the 4t plus eta 4 e to the 4t and a times x2 is going to be a c times t e to the 4t plus a eta times e to the 4t and matching up terms again we see that we need a c equal to 4 c and a eta equals to 4 eta plus c. This is matching up the t e to the 4t terms. This is matching up the e to the 4t terms. So this here tells me that c is my eigenvector from before. And then I can plug into this equation here to find eta. So in this equation becomes a, which is 5 minus 1, 1, 3, times eta 1, eta 2 equals 4 eta 1 eta 2 plus my vector c which is 1 1 so this side here 5 eta 1 minus eta 2 eta 1 plus 3 eta 2 equals 4 eta 1 plus 1 4 eta 2 plus 1 and if i cancel some terms out of there this top equation if i move four of these eta ones, all four of these eta ones the other side. So if I move this guy over here, I will get eta one minus eta two equals one. And if I move this over here, I will get eta one minus eta two equals one. So these are redundant equations. So I can pick whatever I want. So I'm gonna pick eta one equals one, eta two equals zero. 
Why not? That works. So I'm taking eta to be the vector 1, 0. And if I plug that and my C from up here, in, I know it's off the screen, but up there, into my general solution, what I get is my, I get my second solution. So my second solution, x2 of t equals what? It equals 1, 1 times t e to the 4t, because that was my C, plus, plus eta, and eta is 1, 0 times e to the 4t. And I'll put in those two together, I get my general solution is x of t equals c1 times 1, 1 e to the 4t. That was my first term that I knew easily from the eigenvector, plus a c2 times 1, 1 t e to the 4t plus 1, 0 e to the 4t. Now I'll make another point here to say this. We haven't, I haven't done any problems like this here, but this is the easy part. Now say I want the solution that starts at the point uh, 2, 3. How can I find that? Well, if I plug in t equals 0, I want to get 2, 3. That just gives me a, a set of equations to solve for c1 and c2. That's an easy problem. That's probably we've done a bunch before with our finding initial conditions. So plug in the value t equals 0, see what you get, and solve it out for that. What I want to look at now is the phase portrait that goes along with this system. So there's my general solution. Let's now draw a phase portrait. So easy solution first. Let's draw this guy. So this guy goes along 1, 1. This is my straight line solution still. And since 4 is positive, he's going away from the origin. Now let's look at this guy. Now so to see what happens, I'm going to rewrite this guy by factoring out the e to the 4t. And if I do that, I get e to the 4t times t plus 1t. Because the first term has a t in the top and t in the bottom, add it to a 1 over here, I get t plus 1t. So then at t equals 0, I am at what? I am at e to the 4t is 1. I am at 1, 0. At t equals 1, I am at e to the 4 times 2, 1. And at t equals minus 1, I am at 0, 1 times e to the minus 4. So I'm starting at 1, 0, which is over here. At t equals minus 1, I am at 0, 1 times e to the minus 4. And at t equals 1, I'm at 2, 1, but really far away. This solution sort of comes in this way, comes in here, goes negative, and comes in tangent to that line over here. Like we said before, it has to come in tangent to the red line because of the fact that t e to the 4t vanishes slower than e to the 4t as t goes to minus infinity. So we're going away, going away. And now I can fill in other curves around that. So something like here, or one that sort of comes out here and takes off this way. There's one that comes and goes off this way. And the same from the other side, where we're going to come in and be tangent this way. Things like that. So here what we saw from this is we got an improper node, and then it's asymptotically, and then it's unstable because everything's running away from it. All right, so there is a fully worked out example of everything for this problem, from start to finish, from finding the eigenvalues to find the eigenvectors, to find the generalized solution, generalized eigenvectors get your general solution, and then drawing a face portrait. Hopefully that made things make more sense. If it didn't, definitely come talk to me tomorrow. We'll have plenty of time to work on problems like this. I know this stuff is probably really confusing because it is. It's one of the hardest parts of this course that involves a lot of linear algebra that you don't know yet. So definitely come talk to me about it. We can, I can make it make more sense and sort of sort things out for you that way. But thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next one.